So we're here to talk about the Internet of Things. What is this Internet of Things and why is everybody talking about it lately? Well, the simplest example we can use is bulbs. We've got connected bulbs. Lots of people are now making connected bulbs. Many of these bulbs are selling without switches. Through the wonders of your smartphone, we can control everything through an app. Consumers are used to this. We download apps for all sorts of things. Why not download an app for my bulbs? Well, there's one small problem with that. I'm not home right now. My kids still want to use the lights. Somebody may be visiting my house. They still want to use the lights. Do they really have to download an app and log into my system just to turn the lights on and off? Your phone is a wonderful way to set things up, to set scenes, to control things. But I don't have to always use it. I can still use my switches. So what are the underlying principles around these connected devices? Well, the first is obviously connectivity of devices. These are going to be devices on your home network or on the internet. The second principle has to be simplicity. How do we make this easy to use for every consumer? And the third has to be security. If I'm putting these devices on my home network, if I'm putting these on the internet, how do I make sure I'm using them and my family's using them and not everyone else? To the application, all of this is invisible. The application just sends and receives messages.